Hi Gemini, this is your October 2020 tarot forecast. So guys, this is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If your Gemini is in Venus, however, I would treat this as more of a romance or a love reading um, or something having to do with your family, fifth house energy. Um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Venus creativity. Uh, we're looking at second and seventh house energy, so partnerships, beauty, creativity, art, and uh, beauty. Yeah, so what's going on here? A couple of swords flipping over for you, as you can see. I really feel confident this is leaving the month for you. This is something that you're probably getting over here. The ten of swords and the eight of swords just jumping out there. As I'm talking, I'm not going to take them just because I haven't really had a chance to shuffle for you, but it is interesting. Something is really has felt really overkill right now, probably a thought process or a belief process, maybe even a communication process. Um, something was really troubling you. By the time I see that eight of swords, that's, that's a sense of, you know, I can't, I don't know how, and then that ten of swords is you just want it to be over. But... You know, it could be going on in your own head or it could just be that you're fed up with something. It'll, it'll be interesting to see if they show up in your reading as well. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2020. Messages for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And there's another sword. There's that King of Swords. So I am going to take that actually. I'm going to shuffle for another minute, see if I get a qualifier for that. And then we're going to go and get your Celtic Cross. The King of Swords is the situation for the month for you. And like I said, I think it's just... Kind of an issue of maybe putting your foot down about something. There is an extraordinary intellectual prowess here. I do consider the King of Swords to be more cold. Um, it's the coldest king. Of course, it's Aquarius, 11th house. So this could have to do with your peer groups, your volunteerism, fr uh, friendships, alliances. But uh, certainly it could very well have to do with court systems, contracts. Uh, judges, lawyers, this type of thing. Um, but it just is representing you for the month. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here, Gemini, or this could just be, you know, you are interested in very much in sort of like intellectualism and intellectual prowess and thought processes and just being extremely knowledgeable extremely knowledgeable and mature like a mature knowledge here all right so let us get out your other cards for you as always guys i'm going to get some oracle cards to polish off your reading yeah so it could just be about making a decision like i said um we saw that eight and ten at the very beginning we have some more swords energy here there's a there could be a couple you could just be coming wow a couple of queens there could be some maliciousness here it could be a contest there is a love situation here there is a feeling out of sorts something that's taking a while i'm going to get a qualifier card for the end of the situation here for you but yeah some cups and swords here so what you're thinking and what you're feeling may need some revision there could be some confusion here we see a couple of uh, cups as i said we see a seven six a, an ace and a five, I'm gonna qualify that as I said. But something is being mismanaged or misaligned or miscommunicated or there are perhaps, say, expectations here, that, you know, mental or, like I said, even legal, contractual, um, intellectual, whatever that means to you for the month, you know, it, uh, obligations here where for some reason it's impacting your emotional world and um, I think it's just a little bit of give and take, a little bit of back and forth. We have two fives, we have two sixes, we have, as I said, two queens, we have that king. A slander and maliciousness is always front and center whenever I see two queens. Um, when I see three queens, there is a little bit more of a camaraderie there, but two queens, I mean, like I said, this could very well have been a decision about leaving something or investing in something. Um, it could be two people for you. When I see court cards, I do consider these people. So we're dealing with Aquarius, Libra. We're dealing with Capricorn and Virgo energy over here. We have strong Aries energy over here. Only one major arcana here, guys, for the whole month. Um, and then what that tells me 
is that this is moving very quickly. These court cards, these people are coming in and out. These conversations are coming in and out. When we see these fives, these sixes and sevens here, this is temporary energy. This is something that's gonna be solved or resolved very, very quickly. In fact, I would pay the most attention to our major arcana over here in your near future which is probably what you are desiring the most here. So this is looking around this uh, second to beginning of the third week here. But as your near future, this is a motivation. I would consider this a motivational card for you because like I said, there's some communication, there's conversation, there's maybe even just, you know, coming through an element of confusion or a sense of worry as we saw with that eight and 10 there. It's just making up your mind. It could just be as simple as making up your mind here, Gemini. So yeah, I would say the Emperor Aries energy is nice motivation for you. Of course, this is father, right? This is paternity. This is someone who um, plays father or you um, is a father becoming one someone who's playing a fatherly or parental role. This could be the boss as well. You just wanna be the boss here. This is what you're aiming for. Bottom of the deck energy, six of cups. So this is something from your past, right? Whenever we see the six of cups. Overall, in an overarching manner, I would consider this the basket that your reading sits in for the month. And we're just looking at childhood hopes and wishes. Something from your childhood could be manifesting or you're wishing to procure or to invest or manifest that here because it brings out this positive, say, um, masculine energy, whether you're female or male watching this, frankly, this is very powerful energy. Um, it's very entrepreneurial, it's very spirited, it's Mars energy, it's Aries ruled, as I said, but it's also the number four in the Tarot, which is stability. So. Stability is very, very important here. I just think there's going to be some I's to dot and some T's to cross. Again, I just, I'm just i trying not to take this overwhelmingly seriously, these, these smaller cards. And then with these other people, you're just dealing with other people here. But something from your past, something that's nostalgia, sentimental, could be um, a feeling that you want. And you're just trying to work through some of the... Some of the um, the nuts and bolts of that, right? To come, to have it come through for you. And it could just be by and large what and how you're communicating here. Um, but just make sure that you're on the same page with someone else if this does have to do with a love situation or, to, or how you're feeling. As I said, uh, the king of swords here is the situation for the month and it's crossed by or qualified by here, the seven of cups. So this is a little bit of confusion. This is a lot of options about your heart. You're, I think you could just be wildly invested in making the right decision. Maybe there could be an overemphasis over on being intellectual or being intelligent. Maybe there is some sort of, as I said earlier, there could be an, um, an opportunity here for a balancing between the heart and the mind. I would also pay attention here to what you are communicating and how you are communicating your thoughts, beliefs, ideas, and say, needs and desires regarding your feelings, regarding your options and fantasies, and even a sense of confusion here. Maybe, maybe humble yourself a little bit to that. It wouldn't, because there, it's, this is, like I said, a very cold, somewhat cutting energy. This, this King of Swords is just gonna say it like it is and it's just gonna cut ties because it thinks it's the best thing to do. But again, here is the Seven of Cups saying, you know what, you have options. Why don't you see how it makes you feel? So just, I think a major theme here for the month for you is how do you feel when you, when you talk to this person who say is in charge or you think is intellectually superior or even your intellectual equal. I do consider these to be a couple. Um, you could have just met your intellectual match here if that's the case and maybe it's just about communicating that. But here with your foundation, of course, it is mirrored by what is crowning you and the foundation is the six of swords. So this is short term travel, right? This is travel for a short distance. We're looking at, again, swords energy. Typically, I would say that this is how you're communicating. Again, how you're communicating, maybe what you want around family, what you want around your status. Um, you are able to move into calmer waters here. You are able to come to terms with something. I think by virtue of a simple discussion here, you're gonna be able to solve something around 
a major investment regarding a Capricorn person or planetary energy or 10th house energy, right? Status, this is the business world, this is growth potential, investments, cardinal energy here. So we're starting, we're willing to be the first, we're willing to start something new. Um, yeah, and moving forward, moving forward from, say, a, a tricky conversation, right? Because the five precedes this, obviously. So I see you being able to compromise is another major theme for uh, this situation for you for the at least the first two weeks of the month here, guys. Compromise is really important. I would say as much as you're talking, thinking, and believing here, I would put as much energy into listening, right? And it could be a new theme for you or it could just be different uh, for you. Um, but I don't think it's something that's out of your hands. I think it's something you can do and you can do well. It's just going to be a little bit of maybe of a learning curve for you as well. But like I said, this overemphasis or over, say, analysis could be an impediment. Um, if, if this is a love or desire or creativity or, you know, emotional situation for you. So here in your recent past, we saw that Queen of Swords, you know, she's the divorce queen. But again, she's very intelligent. She's going to tell it like it is. She's been there. She's seen it. She's got that owl of wisdom at her side. You can trust what she's saying, which is nice. You can trust these people. These people are willing to be called names and, and be... You know, once we're dealing with our court swords here, these people are willing to be left out in the um, exiled, right? In by ver be, um, in search of the truth. So there's that. At least someone's being honest, or honesty is king here. Um, but yeah, you know, it can affect your emotional world, especially if this is new for you. She is sort of looking straight ahead. Opposite, as I said, in the near future is the emperor. So it could just be about. Something needs to be said to the boss. Maybe we just need to be clear about something to a boss or about a boss, or you need to communicate that you'd like to be in a position where you are able to take care of things, where you're able to keep things stable and secure and running well. Um, but yeah, in your near future, it looks like you will be either asked to take that position or you'll be put in that position. Um, and it's all because you're willing to tell the truth and you're willing to, you know, I would even see be uncomfortable, be a little bit uncomfortable about it. But again, I, I would try to employ some sensitivity here as well because these are typically, once we're dealing with, you know, Libra, uh, Capricorn, especially females, we're dealing with some, you know, high level professional people, right? And even if this is just the house, the seventh and the tenth house, we're dealing with partnerships, relationships, and then your status in your career world. So again, there's no wands energy. This isn't necessarily your work world, but it is how you conduct yourself in a situation where communication needs to be clear and concise and needs to be fair because you still want to get your own way, right? But you can't force it here. Um, so yeah, compromise could be very important for you here. We have some interesting elements regarding how others see you and how you see yourself. So how others see you here is the Ace of Cups. You have a lot to offer. This is an offering of love, of hope, peace. There is a grace here. There's a graciousness. Um, so you're being seen as someone who is very, very capable, very compassionate, uh, someone who's interested in new beginnings, right? A new beginning toward a positive outcome. I would definitely say that this is a really good omen no matter what. How you see yourself as someone who's being rejected, left out, or discarded here. So again, just be very wary about how and what you're communicating here because and be willing to compromise, okay? Uh, we would like to see the six here, but let's just say you have four demands. You may get three of them type thing is what I'm suggesting here. and Or you may get two and compromise on the other. So, But it could make you feel rejected. You may, you may just not get the answer you want here um, with how you see yourself. I would be prepared as well if you're advocating for someone else. There's a lot of advocacy energy here when we see these swords, you know, uh, as I said, this could be politicians, clinicians, scientists, sure. It could also be law, uh, courts, legal contracts, you know, legal discussions, actual lawyer and judges and so forth. So if that's the case for you, 
you know, there is going to be, in terms of how you see yourself, there is going to be an element of rejection. You're not alone here and you can ask for help, so make sure that you ask for help or follow up on something if you're not satisfied because in your hopes and fears is that Virgo energy. This is sixth house. This is work, health, and service. So you can reach out. You can get help. There's at least one person on your side here. Maybe it's just immovable or their hands are tied or something due to a contract, due to something already written, say in stone, something that's out of really your control, but you might have to level up. This might have to go up a few channels. That is possible. It might just be a little bit more work than you wanted it to be. It might not fall in your lap. Um, but yeah, like I said here with this Knight of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. So this is really slow moving, but positively long lasting energy. So you're definitely, your heels are dug in here. Uh, you feel confident, you feel secure, you have a lot to give. You are being regarded here as someone who can take control, who can solve problems. So uh, again, you're really going to, you know, especially if there is an emotional component to it, whether it's from your past or you're trying to protect someone or yourself here, just make sure that that is a positive balance. You know, your emotional world, the compassionate world, and then the literal the um, you know cerebral world here and then with your uh, advice <laughs> is five of cups obviously it's your second five we're going to qualify that that's an unusual outcome card or advice card so the five of cups on its own especially in the advice position is saying look there's going to be a big sense of unfulfillment so the four of cups is boredom the five of cups is this is not what I wanted so again, I would say the beginning of the month is an opportunity for you to find out how and what to communicate fairly. Um, perhaps even looking at long range views, like instead of saying this is what I want, now I'm going to write that email or make that call. Maybe work backwards so that you don't have this outcome at all. You just don't want to take anyone off here because there's a lot of people that you might have to answer to and the five of cups is such a downer it's it's the feeling of it's not working out so can we qualify the five of cups as the advice for gemini why the five of cups for gemini qualify the five of cups for gemini october 2020 yeah so we have some hermit energy there this is technically Virgo energy here again. This is withdrawal, going within, introspection. You might have to turn away from something. Somebody might be turning away from you here. There could just be a feeling of rejection and loss. Even though you're definitely fighting for something here. Um, you're going to be asked to go within. You're going to take some time away. I would just suggest here, guys, it's really, really, uh, I haven't seen a reading like this in a long time, and this, like I said, is a lot of characters, which means to me that something is just out of your hand. You have been forced to deal with these other people. I'm going to suggest here as well that you look after yourself. Really, really try to stay back from over communication, over conversation. Maybe especially if you're sort of watching from a distance or other people can communicate and you can stay in the background. Maybe just approve or deny things at this point and um, try not to get wrapped up in it because it will be a letdown and it, and it will make you withdraw. Um, I do feel strongly it's going to be draining here as well, particularly by the third, uh, by the fourth week, beginning to the end of the fourth week of the month. So really protect your here self here, guys. Two of Swords. I just had it jump out on top of this guy here. So this is knowing what to do. This is just making a difficult decision. You see clearly what needs to be done here. There's going to be a little bit of anxiety or confusion around. Uh, making a decision, but one is going to have to be made. I It's going back to this very f beginning here with our sword's energy, and you might have to make a cut or someone's going to make a cut. But yeah, balance and a peace of mind, resolution of conflict. I would really pay attention to that, though, from the beginning. Even if you have, uh, what's it called, like due cause or due reason, or you have like a laundry list of like legitimate complaints, or you 
you know, you're legally being backed here by something and someone is convincing you or you're under the impression that something's going to turn out a certain way for you because you, th you think something's, something will, it won't. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to. Okay, so, and again, it's pretty small beans. We're dealing with one major. There's nothing, this is going to be um, more of a lesson month for you than anything. No major ridiculous challenges or changes here, but there is an element of disappointment. And I think, like I said, even if you are going it with a high spirit or good intentions here, it's just going to be the type of month for you, Gemini, where it's like your good intentions are really not going to, it's not going to pay the bills this month. So you really have to look over yourself, put yourself first. Um, yeah. Advocacy could be very important, legal or otherwise. Even if someone is advocating for you, let's say you're not doing the advocating, someone's advocating for you to make something easier on you or to make you feel better or safer or like you're happy or content over here like that six of cups. Whether or not they mean to do a bad job or they don't. Wow, we have a lot there. It's just that so much is out of your hands, but it is changing very quickly, right? Not the court cards, but these little cards. This is all really quick changes. Then we have that boss over here and then we have that hermit. Um, so introspection and withdrawal. So just pay attention to not making enemies this month, okay? Because someone definitely doesn't agree with you. Even though you could have all the facts and all the evidence, you might have to just decide if something's worth it, okay? Because there's a little bit of disillusionment here and a little bit of confusion around this issue. So playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So important, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, this could just be, like I said, a lot of communication, trying to figure out where you belong in this, where to go from here, and then let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. That's always nice to see. Harmony always shows up with music and art is really important here as well. So music could be a really nice way to communicate or learn something about yourself or someone else, or it could just be a really nice release. You could even feel inspired to create harmonious um, music or art. Also, automatically, we're dealing with, like I said, some Libra energy over here. So I would say really balance those scales, okay? Really create, be the arbiter, be the agent. <laughs> of harmony and balance this month, guys, because definitely something is surrounding you or these people are around you and there's just a lot of chatter and somebody's not happy and I just don't want it to be you guys. So we have between worlds and then all that glitter. So between worlds is really from one lifestyle to the next, as you can see here, out of the dark and into the light. Yeah, you're taking a move, you're making a move into the future for yourself. Could just be trying to uh, extricate yourself from something, maybe even legal or binding here as well, guys. And then all that glitters just speaks to something, um, something on the surface needs to be dug beneath because what is on the surface isn't, isn't everything. Also, there is more to life than just gold and looking a certain way as well. So dig a little deeper here. There could just be some surface elements that, um, you don't need to convince anyone of, you just need to discover for yourself. And then we have Fox. So this is camouflage. Yeah, really pay attention to how you're being seen, how you're presenting yourself, and also how you're being seen because these are two vastly different worlds over here. So you may even have best intentions. You, Like I said, you may be trying to do the best thing over here. And guess what? The practical reality bottom line of it is you're, it's rejected. So I would, I would, Wash your hands of as much as anyone else's problems as you can. Take a step back and just yes and no, sir, for the month here, especially if you're dealing with legal or, you know, pretty severe issues, something of a severe nature. But camouflage, yeah, make sure that um, what you're being seen as is who you are. You don't want to fool anybody and um, just make sure you protect yourself and your assets 
and uh, you know, be interested in conflict resolution here as well. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next video for your sign. Bye for now, guys.